Peter. Um, just a big opportunity, of course, for the team, also for the club on Wednesday. Just what's been the messaging the last few days with the players about how to approach this final and um, ultimately what way they can do so to come out successful? Um, I always think when, and we've been in this position quite a few times where you're in a final um, and you're still in your season, it's hard sometimes is that when you're managing both, you, you can get focused on one or the other um, and it can it can uh, deter you from you know your ultimate goal of winning. And so I think for the majority of, uh, especially after Le in the Leagues Cup and then after Leagues Cup, um, I think for the most part there's been some advancements in, in some of our aspects of play. And I, and I just tried to remind the guys that um, you know the, the objective is to try to be at your best when you get to a final, right? And so everything that has happened up until now actually does matter. Um, but actually nothing matters. And, and the reason why is because you could have done everything to get here and then not do anything when you're in the final. And then you could have been fortunate maybe in some situations um, and gotten here. And and now you're going to take advantage of it. The, the bottom line is you can hope and you can you can want to win, but at the end of the day, you got to go make it happen. And that's I think that's where the difference is is when you go into a final um, because you were if you go back to the game before this, I'm not talking about this past weekend, but the in the tournament, that was just an opportunity to to, to go and try and win a trophy. Now you have the ability to win a trophy, and that's that's the big difference of where they're at and. So your focus has to be on the present. The present is that's the only thing you have in front of you. I talked to Tim on Saturday um, after he, he kind of talked a little bit about that match in Philadelphia, how you guys had to defend um, for large stretches of the match at a time. Um, do you feel like that's going to be the case again in, in this setup, very road game, this team's going to be at home, the uh, LAFC's going to be at home, they're going to want to drive the game. And how do you feel like your defense over the last few weeks has uh, shored up to a point where you think that you guys might be able to be successful in those moments? I don't look. I, I, you know, I don't go into the guys and give them uh, fake messaging, right? I think everybody's aware they're playing at home. Their LAFC, the, the roster they have, the players they have, all those other things, and that's not. It's not a. It's not a knock against us or anything, but they're at home. I, I think you guys know what happened in most, in most in most league games for teams when they play away from home. It's 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 not easy, right? Um, and, and it favors the home team, and we understand that. But you also got to realize, too, and what you're asking me is, okay, you talk about defense. So to me, we've gotten better. But I would say that we also at times still have not been good enough. And, again, some of that matters and, and some of it doesn't. You have the ability in this game to play at a, a, a very high level, and right now, you do. When the game starts, it, it's really about focus. It's it's about understanding like all these different things. Who has the ball? Time on the clock. Score of the game. Where's your opponent? I mean, you, you have to like all those things have to be going through your mind at all times. And so, do I think we're good enough to defend? Yes, I do. I think your mentality has to be that when you don't have the ball as a collective, you have to be in a place where you're doing a couple things. One is you're defending your goal at all costs. The other is, is that you are willing to do more than any other time in your position to help defend. And sometimes that means the center forward has to chase back a guy, you know, 60 yards to, to, to recover and win the ball back or just kick it out of bounds or do whatever. It can't, you can't have the mentality that, like, hey, you do this, I do that. No, everybody has to participate on both sides of the ball all game long, every roll of the ball. Oftentimes in big matches, uh, two teams will kind of need to feel each other out. They won't take early risks. Do you kind of feel like this game might be like that? I think LAFC is a team that goes, 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 goes. They are – they are um, – They've been in a lot of finals recently, last couple of years. Um, they've won. Uh, they're at home. 
I think they're going to drive the game from the opening whistle, and we have to be ready for that because because we're going to have to deal with that early, uh, and they'll be coming. And they're like I said, they're a very very good team. I guess the flip side of my question is, will they be under the pressure to drive the game? Because a lot of times home teams kind of have that extra pressure yeah. that they need to to be the dominant. I, I can't answer the pressure aspect of it. I just know how they play, and 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 they they go for it, and they're. They're good at it. I mean, I don't know why they would change from that. Um, we've talked about it on our end. They're going to come, and we know that. And they're 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 a good team, and they're very explosive in the in the attack. Whether it's counter, whether it's in around your box, they have great movement. Their guys are hungry. You know, you, again, you have to keep your head on a swivel with with, with a group like that. In in games like that, uh, sometimes the the team one team will have just a few chances, but all they need to do is get that one goal or second goal. Just how Critical it will it be as it always is to be very clinical in front of goal. I think I think you're you're right. I you know I always I always look at finals in, in a very simple way, and that is they're won and lost by either incredible brilliance or a big blunder, and and so you'd like to be winning on the brilliance and not really making any blunders. Um, and so as I said earlier, like when I say every roll of the ball. That's not just a, you know, a little phrase that I say. I, I truly mean that. That's the kind of concentration you have to have um, when you do. And, and again, you know, I talked about like where your opponent is, all those things. When when you have good positioning in a game, both offensively and defensively, you take away a lot of mistakes. And so that's the concentration that you need in the game. Having gone out to LA and, and earning a clean sheet earlier in the season, does that give you any more confidence? You know, knowing you've done that, or is it just so long ago that it's not necessarily a factor? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think we. I don't think we talked one second about having played them before. They're a different team. We're a different team. Um, they've added some players. Uh, we've lost some players. Um, I, I think again when you when you play when you play a team. Whether look at the the Dallas series we had, it's such a short turnaround. Um, that was a really difficult two games to manage, in the fact that look we needed to get points in the in the regular season, but knowing full well that this was our game to to get to the next step in this tournament, and to do that you know two games in a row was very very difficult. But I think the the difference is the guys managed that game, but Dallas is a different team today even from there, and 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 so. Um, I think it's more of where are we at this time, where are they, and knowing full well what, what they're going to do in the game. And as I said, I think they're going to they're going to come at us, and we've got to be ready for that. It's and it's not going to be easy for sure. As the coach, you've been incredibly successful in finals. Not always making the final, but in the finals, you've been incredibly successful. Just what is uh you know what can you say about that history for you guys? It's the players. It's the players. The players that go into those games. They make it happen. Uh, I, I, it's not me. They're playing the game, so it, it's them. Speaking of the players, what do you think of the mental makeup of the players going into this match? Because some do have finals experience, some don't. So what do you think of the mental mentality of this team going in? It, it's actually an interesting question because there's, there's, there's different things that I think – I think sometimes when you get to this point, you get to a final. You can you can run a lot of scenarios through your own head as a player, um, and you can you can get caught up in those what I would what I what I call them is is uh, uh, they're just scenarios. They, they it sounds great to think about them, or you know some people say like oh I, you know I I spent the day before thinking about this. It's truly about that present moment when the game, when the whistle blows, because it's like I got all both teams are going in the game nervous. It's just the way it is. But when the whistle blows, that all goes away, and now you're in the moment. I I I don't I don't question mentality in that. Do they want to? You know, do they want to win? Do they? You know, are they gonna? Are they are they coming to do that? I, I yes, I I think both teams are. I, I don't know how as as an athlete as a competitor. You know, you go into that not wanting to do that. So I don't think that's the case. What I do think, though, is at times when it's it's not all the time, right? But to overcome 
what we have to overcome, which is going to their place, playing against a really good team, is that you have to, you have to go outside yourself to, to do those extra things that help you win. And one of them is, is that are you willing to do that? But the other is, do you have the recognition to do it at the time, right time? And I think that's what's going to play itself out in the game. And do you like the fact that, in, in a sense that, if you struggle so much during the regular season, these guys know that they have this championship at stake. Does that help with that mental makeup going into this, knowing that, okay, at the end of the day, we can still come out of this season with a trophy? I think it's easy to say that, like you and I sitting here talking about it. But I can tell you this one. I think when you go into the game, you don't, when you're a player, you don't think about that at all. You're, you're so in that – like you're not thinking about any other game you play. Like you're, you're, you're in that present. And I, I think the enormity of the game makes you think that way. Yeah. Similar to Harold's question, what, what would winning a trophy do for this season and the season that obviously hasn't gone as planned on the MLS side? How would that maybe change the narrative when a trophy came to the wall? Years ago, uh, it was uh, 15 we won at, at Philly. Um, and, and we actually had a, we had a good season. I mean, we, we got knocked out, um, I believe it was by Portland, in a penalty kick shootout. Um, and I remember at the end, you know, I always meet the owners at the end of the year and we have, you know, we talk about the past and we talk about what the future looks like. And I remember my close of the meeting and there above me was a, a huge uh, screen um, and I was running a little PowerPoint. And I remember at the end, I, 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 I clicked the last slide and the last slide was a picture of us receiving the trophy in Philadelphia. And I remember saying to the, to the owners, I, I said, uh, you know, you know, this is, you know, I point up to the, to the screen. I just said, you know, this is what this is all about. And please never take it for granted because there are teams in this league that have never won a trophy, ever. And this club, for the fact that it's a small market and everything else that it is, has really punched above its weight class many a times. And so that's why you can never take them for granted. And I taking it away from the context of the season and just taking it that when you have a chance to win a trophy and you do in this game, it's, it's a pretty fortunate thing to do. And, and it should, like I said, it should never be taken for granted.